So I was inspired to create Tick actually by a friend of mine who has ALS. Um, and my friend Tim has been battling ALS for a number of years. And over these years, he's found it increasingly difficult to communicate his needs and wants verbally. So I sat down and I was just looking at the sort of assistive technology that's already on the market to help people like my friend Tim. And what I found was that the majority of these devices are often highly expensive, quite invasive, um, and susceptible to involuntary movement. Interestingly enough, I found that um, in the most severe cases of ALS, multiple sclerosis, and spinal cord injuries, you often still have full functionality of your tongue because it nearly bypasses your entire spinal cord, so it's unaffected. Uh, your tongue never fatigues, even though often we talk a lot. It's inherently capable of complex movements, so I found this was something that was uh, ideal for me to, um, to utilize. So you attach the, the device to your computer using a USB, um, and through computer programming, you're able to map those general purpose input-output pins to the following uh, functions, moving the mouse up, down, left, right, and enter. So it acts as a mouse inside your mouth. That's why I wanted to look up Facebook, for instance. In bulk, it would cost less than $10 to fabricate tick, which um, is definitely comparable to uh, other devices that are upwards of thousands of dollars. So I think my device effectively meets that needs, and I really want to get it into the hands of those who need it in, in less fortunate areas. Um, it's inexpensive because I use uh, an inexpensive sports mouth guard. This circuit board costs less than $3 when purchased in bulk. I use an Ethernet cable, a USB cable, so very inexpensive materials. Um, simple, it's a simple solution, I think, to a really complex issue.